Ariana Grande Batera, born June 26, 1993, is an American singer, songwriter, and actress. Regarded as a pop icon and an influential figure in popular music, she is noted for her four-octave vocal range and her signature use of the whistle register. Grande's various awards include two Grammy Awards, one Brit Award, two Billboard Music Awards, three American Music Awards, nine MTV Video Music Awards, and 36 Guinness World Records. Rolling Stone named her one of the greatest vocalists of all time. Grande began her career at age 15 by appearing in the Broadway musical 13, 2008. She rose to prominence for her performance as Cat Ballantyne in the Nickelodeon television series Victorious, 2010 to 2013, and its spin-off series Sam and Cat, 2013 to 2014. She signed with Republic Records in 2011. Grande's debut studio album, Yours Truly, 2013, incorporated retro pop and R&B elements and yielded the successful single, The Way. My Everything, 2014, her second album, experimented with EDM and catapulted her to worldwide stardom through the singles Problem, Break Free, and Bang Bang. Grande further explored pop and R&B with her third album Dangerous Woman, 2016, which solidified her critical and commercial success. Personal struggles influenced Grande's trap-infused fourth and fifth albums, Sweetener, 2018, and Thank You, Next, 2019. The former won the Grammy Award for Best Pop Vocal Album, while the latter broke several streaming records and was nominated for Album of the Year. Thank You, Next garnered two Billboard Hot 100 number one songs with its title track and Seven Rings, and made Grande the first solo artist to simultaneously occupy the top three positions on the chart. She broke the record for the most number one debuts in Hot 100 history with the title track of her trap-influenced sixth album, Positions, 2020, and the collaborations, Stuck With You, with Justin Bieber and Rain On Me, with Lady Gaga, the latter of which won the Grammy Award for Best Pop Duo Slash Group Performance. Grande ventured into dance music on her seventh album, Eternal Sunshine, 2024, which produced the number one singles, Yes, and, and, We Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love. She returned to acting with the political satire Don't Look Up, 2021. Among the world's best-selling music artists, Grande has sold over 85 million records worldwide. Having amassed 98 billion streams thus far, Grande is one of the most streamed artists of all time and the most streamed female artist as of 2021. She was the most streamed female act of the 2010s and has the second most songs with over a billion streams for a woman, with 14 on Spotify. Grande also has a large social media following, with over 380 million followers. She is the sixth most followed individual on Instagram and one of the most subscribed and most followed musicians on YouTube and Spotify. She was named Woman of the Year, 2018, and the most successful female artist to debut in the 2010s by Billboard, featured in listicles such as Time 100, 2016 and 2019, Forbes Celebrity 100, 2019 to 2020, and ranked the highest paid female musician of 2020 by Forbes. Outside of music and film, Grande has worked with many charitable organizations and advocates for animal rights, mental health, and gender, racial, and LGBT equality. Her business ventures include REM Beauty, a cosmetics brand launched in 2021, and a fragrance line that has earned over $1 billion in global retail sales. About personal life Grande has said she struggled with hypoglycemia, which she attributed to poor dietary habits. She has been a vegan since 2013. Fans questioned in 2019 whether she was still a vegan after working with Starbucks to create a special edition of one of her favorite drinks, which was revealed to contain eggs. Her nutritionist, Harley Pasternak, told the magazine Glamour that Grande is vegan but 
that he has got her to feel okay about indulging and celebrating sometimes. Grande developed post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and anxiety after the Manchester Arena bombing. She nearly pulled out of her performance in the 2018 broadcast of Very Wicked Halloween due to anxiety. Grande has also said she has been in therapy for over a decade, having first seen a mental health professional shortly after her parents' divorce. Grande was raised Roman Catholic, but left the church during the pontificate of Benedict XVI, circa 2013, opposing its stance on homosexuality and noting that her half-brother Frankie is gay. Grande stated that she and Frankie later visited a Kabbalah center and that they both really had a connection with it. Several of her songs, such as Break Your Heart Right Back, are supportive of LGBT rights. She has also been labeled an advocate for a sex-positive attitude. In November 2019, Grande endorsed Bernie Sanders' second presidential bid. She endorsed Joe Biden for the 2020 presidential election. Grande cited Audrey Hepburn as a major style influence in her early career. However, she later found emulating Hepburn's style a little boring. She also drew inspiration from actresses of the 1950s and 1960s, such as Anne Margaret, Nancy Sinatra, and Marilyn Monroe. Grande's modest look early in her career was described as age-appropriate in comparison to contemporary artists who grew up in the public eye. Jim Farber of New York's Daily News wrote in 2014 that Grande received less attention for how little she wears or how graphically she moves than for how she sings. That year, she abandoned her earlier style in favor of short skirts and crop tops with knee-high boots in live performances and red carpet events. She also began regularly wearing cat and bunny ears and, subsequently, oversized jackets and hoodies. Grande's style is often imitated by social media influencers and celebrities. After years of dyeing her hair red for her role as Cat Valentine on Nickelodeon, Grande wore extensions as her hair recovered from damage. And T. Donahue of MTV News noted that her iconic high ponytail has received more attention than her fashion choices. Although Grande drew criticism for alleged impolite interactions with reporters and fans in 2014, she dismissed the reports as weird, inaccurate depictions. Rolling Stone wrote, Some may cry diva, but it's also Grande just taking a stand to not allow others to control her image. In July 2015, Grande sparked controversy after being seen on surveillance video in a donut shop licking donuts that were on display and saying, I hate Americans. I hate America. This is disgusting, referring to a tray of donuts. She subsequently apologized, saying that she is extremely proud to be an American and that her comments rather referred to obesity in the United States. She later released a video apology for behaving poorly. The incident was parroted by The Muppets Grande herself poked fun at the incident while hosting Saturday Night Live in 2016, saying, A lot of kid stars end up doing drugs, or in jail, or pregnant, or get caught licking a donut they didn't pay for. In 2020, she said that she stopped doing interviews for a while out of fear that her words would be misconstrued and that she would be labeled a diva. Madame Tussauds, with a large following on social media, Grande is one of the most influential celebrities on the internet. As of January 2024, her YouTube channel has over 53 million subscribers, making her among the most subscribed music artists on the platform. Her music videos have been viewed a total of over 25 billion times, with eight of them reaching over 1 billion views. Her Spotify profile has amassed over 95 million followers, making her the fourth most followed artist and second most followed woman. Her Instagram account has over 380 million followers, making her the sixth most followed individual and third most followed woman. Her now deactivated Twitter account had over 80 million follower, making it the seventh most followed account at the time. 
Her Facebook page has over 42 million followers, and her TikTok account has over 34 million followers. Often regarded as a pop icon and triple threat entertainer, wax figures of Grande are found at Madame Tussauds wax museums in major cities around the world, including New York, Orlando, Amsterdam, Bangkok, Sydney, Berlin, London, Vienna, Hollywood, Hong Kong, and Blackpool. In November 2021, it was announced that Grande would play Glinda for the upcoming two-part film adaptation of the musical Wicked, directed by John M. Chu and starring alongside Cynthia Erivo, who will play Alphaba. The first part, Wicked, is slated to be released on November 27, 2024. Both Grande and Erivo attended the 96th Academy Awards on March 10, 2024 where they presented Best Original Score and Best Original Song. On January 17, 2024, Grande announced her seventh studio album, titled Eternal Sunshine. Its lead single, Yes, and, was released with an accompanying music video on January 12, 2024, and debuted atop the Billboard Hot 100. The song topped the Billboard Global 200 and Global Excal. U.S. charts for two weeks on February 16th, a remix of Yes and featuring Mariah Carey, included in the deluxe edition of Eternal Sunshine, was released. The album was released on March 8th, along with the second single off the record, We Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love. Both the album and its second single debuted atop the Billboard 200 and the Hot 100 respectively. It also marked Grande's first instance of reaching the top of both. The Billboard Hot 100 Songwriters and Hot 100 Producers Charts T.O. promote the album. Grande appeared as the musical guest on Saturday Night Live on March 9, 2024. She performed We Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love, live for the first time, alongside Imperfect For You from Eternal Sunshine. On May 6, 2024, Grande performed at the Met Gala. She opened with a rendition of Disney's 1959 song Once Upon a Dream, originally written for the film Sleeping Beauty, to fit with the Metropolitan Museum of Arts exhibition Sleeping Beauties, reawakening fashion at the Anna Winter Costume Center. Grande sang songs from many of her albums, including Into You, Seven Rings, The Boy Is Mine, Yes, and, and We Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love. To close out her performance, she was joined on stage by her Wicked co-star Erivo to sing When You Believe from the 1998 film The Prince of Egypt. On June 21, 2024, Grande released The Boy Is Mine remix which features both Brandy and Monica.